Schedule is already out. We already know it's going to happen. Happened last year, happened the year before. It always gets leaked. Wasn't going to do a video about it, but I said, uh, why not? Because it's kind of interesting. It's um, uh, the schedule makers, they look like they were working overtime for the G Men. And uh, if you go through it, and we're going to go through it briefly, you're going to look at week one, September 10th at the Dallas Cowboys. Or no, excuse me, at home. It's an 820 game. It's a Sunday night game. Uh, so we're kicking off in prime time on September 10th. You know, our, you know, our record in prime time is, uh, is not the greatest in the world. Um, and then after that, on week two, September 17th, we travel over to the Arizona Cardinals. Arizona, of course, a team in flux right now. You don't know what's going on with Kyler Murray. You don't know what's going on with the quarterback situation. They got, they got injury issues uh, they're still dealing with from last year. So, uh, and also some devoid of some talent. So, uh, and then you move into week number three, September 21st at the San Francisco 49ers. Another Thursday night primetime game. Again, you know, you know our record in primetime. You, you know the primetime record. That's going to be another difficult one. And then you drop into week Four, October 2nd at home against the Seattle Seahawks. Another primetime game. That's an 815 game. We have three primetime games in the first four weeks. Um, not if you take a look at the first four weeks, you know, I mean, like I said, I don't like to do a pronostication of the schedule this early because you, you, you don't know what's going to go on. You don't know about injuries. You don't know what, what players are going to achieve more. You know that, but you got a tough four weeks. You, you could potentially be one in three. Right off the bat, you you could potentially be two and two. You you never know, but it's it's not an easy start to the you know the first le- the, the first half of the season. I know it's not the half a game because it's only four games, but it's it's an interesting first four games to start. You know you you got two at home, two on the road. Then you go week five, October eighth, over to the Miami Dolphins, and then you have another road game. You're still traveling on the road week six at the Buffalo Bills. Again, your you know, schedule makers are not doing the Giants any favors. I mean, you take a look. You take a look at you know. I it looks like every team in the first six weeks outside of the Arizona Cardinals were uh, playoff teams last year. So it's going to be uh, that's again. It's an interesting six weeks, and then you head over to the week seven at the Washington Commanders. Then we have the home game week eight, which is October 29th. That's against the Jets. And Aaron, the vaulted Aaron Rodgers. It's going to be the battles of the number eights. Then you drop over back on the road again, and you go back on the road again to the Raiders in Las Vegas on November 5th. That's on week nine. Week 10, you're looking at November 12th out the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, and then you're back, then you're back home for three weeks and plus a bye. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so you have n- November nineteenth on week eleven and against the Commanders. You have the you have the return of the Belichick on the twenty sixth against the Pats. Then in week thirteen you have off. Then you still have another home game. You're at Green Bay. Excuse me, home to Green Bay. Monday night football. Dun, 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 dun. Another prime time game. Um, so those are, you know, like I said, you always worry about those primetime games. Then you have uh, week number 15, December 17th at the new Orleans saints. And then you're at Philadelphia on Christmas day. Um, that's a four 30 game at Christmas day in Philadelphia. Uh, that's, that's, that's not a fun one. Then you, uh, then you close out the season on, on December 31st against the Rams on new year's Eve. <laughs> And then you drop again, January 7th, Philadelphia Eagles rolling into MetLife. I mean, if, if you take a look at this schedule objectively, you know, there, there are not there like last, unlike last year, last year had a lot of gimmies on it. Well, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to say, cause there's no game in the NFL. It's a gimme, but they had a lot of more winnable games. And if you take a look at the first, like I say, if you go the first six weeks, you know, you have five, you're going up against five playoff team, five former playoff teams from 2022 and three primetime games. You have a Thursday night and then you are going to have a Monday night game. And then you're going to go, like I said, you have a Sunday night game, then a, then a regular Saturday game. 
So you're playing on a uh, well, yeah, you're really you're not really playing a short week there, but I don't know. They they didn't do the Giants any favors at his first six weeks. And then if you take a look at week seven through twelve, I mean the schedule gets a little bit easier because you got the commanders twice and the Raiders, but you still have a jet team, which is a tough jet defense. You got the Cowboys at the at Dallas. Um, and then you got the then you got the uh, you got the what's called you got the Pats coming in. So again, it's there's there's not a lot of games that you're like, okay, that's a gimme. I mean, outside of the I mean, outside of the Washington games, but Washington's always been playing the team tough. So you gotta, you know, you got the I mean, it's 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 an interesting setup to the schedule. The uh the the primetime games I find interesting. So you have five you excuse me, four primetime games, and you don't know what if they're gonna flex. They'll probably flex the January seventh game. Um so you, that is probably more likely going to be another primetime game for the Giants. I mean, they they had the G-men have their work cut out for them. I mean, there there is a uh, this is this is not a uh, this is not a cream puff schedule like we kind of had last year. This is a schedule that is going to prove once and for all, um, you know how good of a coach Belichick is, how good of a coach, uh, excuse me, how good of a uh, quarterback Daniel Jones is. It, it's it's going to test the metal of the New York Football Giants. Uh, I'm excited for a lot of the home games. I got to tell you that I, I'm uh, I, I'm interested in seeing the Green Bay game. Of course, I'm always interested in the Philadelphia game and the Dallas game. Uh, and like I said, it's a Jet, uh, you know, Jet Giants. I mean, October 29th, Jet Giants. That's a home game. So that's a home game for the G-Men. So that, that's gonna that's gonna be a lot of fun. And then, like I said, you have um, you know, you got Dallas coming in week one, then backed up by Seattle in week four. You know, it's it's a fun schedule. It's a it's a, uh, a, a you know, if you're a season ticket holder, it's going to be a fun, uh, it's going to be a fun, uh, fun time in the old crowd tonight because there's a lot of good teams on this schedule. That's going to be, um, it's going to, sh- it's really going to show how much we've stepped forward uh, from 2022 to 2023. And I think everyone should be overly excited about that. And again, this is Tim. This is New York Giant Straight Talk powered by online big blue sports. Telling you, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell because you know what that means. That'd be awesome.